G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I just got this just in. Um, this is a beginner's 118 scale rock crawler. Um, I've done a few of these on the channel in the past year. And, you know, even though they're on the lower price side, they actually perform rather well. So we'll soon see if this one does as well. Um, this one was provided from the AppSung Amazon Australia store. So I'd like to thank them for sending this sample through. Um, you can get this, as I said, on Amazon Australia. Uh, so any viewers that are watching this from Australia or New Zealand, uh, you'll be able to get this one within a couple of days if you do decide to purchase one. Plus you've got the guarantee of uh, the Amazon support, um, customer service if you know you happen to get a faulty one or so forth. It's pretty much a headache-free sort of experience where they'll either refund you or and give you a replacement so anyway guys uh it's saying here that this one is alloy so we'll soon see maybe they're referring to the body shell this also goes by the name of mad force double xl fierce attack climbing car so uh it's just one of those um you know cheaper uh rock crawlers and uh i believe they come in a couple of colors i think i got the blue one i'll be popping the link below if you want to check that out as always, I'll put the link down below. You can check it out for yourself. But yeah, this is a 118 scale uh, crawler. It's got two brush motors for constant four-wheel drive. So on both axles, you're going to have one motor on each side. Uh, and this one comes with two batteries. So um, let's get into it. I'll open it up and we'll see exactly what we get. And then I'll test this uh, out on the trails and off-road uh, terrain. And we'll see how this one performs compared to some of the other ones that I've reviewed. All right, guys, I'm gonna open up the box. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, this is how it comes in the box, all protected, and here's a little transmitter. It's a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, very simple. What we got here, we just got an on and off switch, and we've got two buttons here. Maybe these are trimmer buttons. It says auto demo, actually, sorry. So that's interesting. I'll have to try that out. I don't know if you can see that. It says auto demo there. See that? So that's interesting. And this one um, seems, yeah, I think this one will be a non-proportional uh, controls for both steering and throttle. But I'll have to check that. Maybe sometimes these crawlers, they got, you know, non-proportional steering, but they do have proportional throttle so i'll check that out guys i'm just guessing at the moment usually they do have non-proportional throughout though this one takes two double a batteries okay now here's the two batteries we'll see if they're nickel metal hydride or no they're two uh nicad batteries just there we've got two 700 milliamp hour 4.8 volt nicad packs all both of them have got four cells and we've got the normal, you know, NICAD uh, style um, plug there. So if you've got plenty of these, uh, you can use them in this truck as long as they're a four cell arrangement. And uh, we're supposed to get around 20 minutes of uh, drive time on each uh, pack. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, they'll give you like, what, 40 minutes of run time. So that's pretty good. And we also get that USB charger to go with the batteries. Uh, it's rated at 4.8 volt, 250 milliamps an hour. All right, guys. So that just leaves the uh, Jeep now, guys. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a Wrangler Jeep. We've even got some uh, LED lights there. So when we power it on, it should uh, they should flash. So that should be uh, pretty good. Some of them don't uh, usually have uh, any LED lights. And the body panels I think that they might be alloy it looks like it anyway um, with a metallic uh, blue paint job on this one got some uh, little decals on it I'll paint it in there the number two fierce attack we've got uh, friction shocks as we expect from this type of vehicle but they do have quite a bit of uh, flex on each one as you can see here I'll grab the other end for going over rocks and crawling over terrain so that's that's pretty standard with this we've got a lot of uh, detail though on this one uh, showing the dashboard and the steering wheel seats little roll cage here as well and some uh, fake light bar 
on the top here with some spotlights. There's no little holes to put any, uh, you know, there's no light cups on this one. But, uh, yeah, little uh, spare on the back, the spare wheel cover. And uh, these tyres are pretty standard. They're very nice soft rubber, actually, on this one. So that's a good. This should grip very well. And uh, you can see the tread pattern is pretty uh, pretty grippy. So, yeah, very soft. So this should go over large rocks rather rather decent. We'll soon test that out when I take it out, like I do the other ones that I've uh, featured on this channel. But, yeah, we've got uh, two motors, it's a constant sort of four-wheel drive. So you've got two motors on the front, uh, one motor on the front, one on the back, a total of two motors that drive this uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, we've got the steering servo on the front just here. And it's one of those, yeah, you know, bang bang steering, so it's not proportional. Uh, so having the trimmer on the bottom is a dead giveaway that it's not a proportional uh, steering as well. You can adjust it from there if it starts going to the left or right on its own. And uh, there's a little battery tray just there to fit that little uh, NICAD pack. And you got your on and off switch on the bottom here. All right, guys. You also got a screw here as well. So I suggest when you put the battery in. Uh, you do screw that in. Otherwise, if you go over like a a rock or something, it might uh, pop this little tab off, and then you lose your battery. So, all right, guys. Well, I decided to put one of the NiCad batteries in the Jeep. It's in storage right out of the box, of course. So I've gone ahead and done that. As you can see, the lights are flashing to bind. I also put a couple of uh, batteries, AA batteries, in the remote. Now um, I'll bind it up. And uh, another thing too, before I forget, I uh, just noticed now, as I put batteries in this, you can actually take this wheel off, okay, and it caters for left-handed people as well. So that's rather neat. So, uh, yeah, you got either side. So if you're left or right-handed, uh, yeah, this uh, controller will suit you. Okay, so it's bound now, guys. As you can see, the light headlights are uh, solid now. And... Um, this does have proportional proportional throttle, guys. Look, I'm just touching it. And there's a full speed. Same with the reverse. So as I said before, um, some of these uh, beginner crawlers, they don't have proportional controls, but this one does. Uh, the steering on this one, though, is not proportional, so it doesn't matter how much you turn it. You're going to get that full lock each time. But uh, yeah, at least the throttle is fully proportional. So that's, that's a good thing for a crawler because um, it's rather difficult to uh, crawl over rock walls and objects uh, when you've got no proportion at all, especially on the throttle. It's either bang on, you know, full power or no power at all. All right, guys, so... Okay, guys, well, that's everything you get in the package of the Appsung RC Jeep Crawler, the 118 scale crawler. And uh, then I'll meet you out at the testing ground. We'll see how it goes uh, on the off-road terrain. So that'll be coming up next. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I've got the little Appsung uh, Jeep Crawler. I'm going to give it a go up this uh, rock wall here like I do with the other Jeep Crawlers of this sort of budget. And we'll see how it how it performs, so let's go. Seems to be climbing not too bad. Oh, we've kicked it over. This one runs on a 4.8 volt battery. Proportional, however, See if we can make it up there, seems to be bogging down. So, pretty low uh, clearance on the chassis of this one, so. Larger rocks are gonna pose a bit of a problem. But I like to test these little budget 
I see out on the surface like this. Should have sand there, a bit too boggy. If I can get up here. Uh, come on, little fella. Not enough power, I don't think. There seems to be a lot of loose uh, seeds from plants, from the uh, trees here, and a lot of leaves as well, and sand. Compared to last time I was here, so it's probably causing a bit of uh, climbing issues as well. So anyway, see the speed of this. <laughs> 4.8 volt, NICAD battery, you get two of them. There's a pigeon there. So let's check out the range. It didn't state the range on the box, but check it out. I think maybe the listing showed 200 feet, maybe. Still going. I'm actually walking closer to it though. Let me stand here so you can see. Still going. Up the curbing. So, you know, it's got decent range for a toy truck like this. But at least, let's say 40 metres away. 50? No, about 50 actually. I'll bring it back. Cutting out there, maybe because of the metal pole too short. So you can get up steep curbs, not too bad. I mean, these curbs are pretty steep. Not a problem, let's see that again. Oh, and how I tip, oh, tipped it over and brought it back on its wheel. See how it goes in sand. So like they're doing a bit of construction here. Probably gonna get bogged down. <sighs> Try it. So it does have a bit of uh, climbing ability. Okay, let's uh, test out this demo button. Let's see what that does. Auto demo button right here. As you can see, I'm not touching it. I'll put the controller down. Just see what that demo button does. So it's obviously got a programmed uh, driving pattern here. Built into it. Gonna stop. Do I have to turn it off? Looks like it's just, uh, okay, it stopped. So it does that whole pattern. It's just, uh, I've never seen that on one of these trucks before. But uh, yeah, you get two batteries in this one, guys. Not too bad. Very similar to uh, all these other little rock crawlers of this, this sort of uh, spec. You know, same sort of build. See if I can go over these bricks. Might be a bit too, not enough clearance for any of that. See if I can go up this rock onto the curbing. So, you know, it does have some crawling capabilities for for its size. You know, it's not a top grade crawler. Far from it, but uh, it can climb. There you go. I get out of it though. 
So that's where it's bottoming out on the actual bottom of the truck. So. Okay, let's try it out in this little bit of a garden here and then I'll call it a review. So let's see how it goes in this sort of terrain off road. This is all leaf litter. Okay, we'll see if we can go up this incline with no issue. It's got enough power. That's pretty good. So yeah. It's something stuck in the front wheel now. That's it, it all it came out. It's got LED lights as well, as you can see, the headlights, they've got LEDs on them. And, uh, I mean, you know, for what it is, it's not, it's not terribly fast at all, but it's made as a crawler, a beginner's crawler. And that's what you're going to get. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this quick review of this little uh, Jeep crawler that you can find at the Appsung Amazon store. It's on Australian Amazon website, amazon.com.au. So if you want to check this one out guys, it comes with two batteries as I showed you before. Uh, the nickel cadmium batteries and uh, yeah, they, they say that it runs for about 20 minutes. Obviously I didn't want to run it that long to make this video too long, but uh, as you can see, it does have uh, some fairly decent crawling capabilities for such a budget and beginner's uh, vehicle here. It, it uh, performed exactly the same way as all these other ones that I've tried of this sort of, uh, you know, build quality. So, so yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, feel free to comment below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell because I've got some pretty cool RC's uh, products on the way. And uh, yeah, guys, have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Until next time, happy RCN.